Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be answering one of the most common questions I get on my channel and also opening a discussion on this topic. And it's going to be collection size and in defense of larger collections. I have a quote from a Reddit thread that I really sums up what I think about this. So I'm going to read that in a little minute. But this is a topic I've wanted to talk to you guys about and let you guys know as someone who has a larger collection why I have so many and why you see a lot of people really just collect fragrances without abandon. You know, they have 50, 100, 200, 1,000, over 1,000 bottles. The mindset behind the people that collect fragrances like that. So I thought this might be a fun topic to discuss. So if you'd like to know, my thoughts on it and have a discussion about this and then let's go now a few things before i read the quote because this quote literally literally is pretty much identical to my thoughts but i am going to expand on it i don't think that there's any right or wrong way to collect fragrances i think that if you're a fragrance collector and you are a fragrance enthusiast and you love fragrance, it doesn't matter the size of your collection. You could only have decants, you could have two bottles and three samples, you know. I'm not going to sit here and police anybody for how they collect and participate in this community. But one of the questions I get a lot is why do I have so many fragrances? I'm not going to wear all of them, at least not wear all of them quite frequently. What's the mindset behind large collections? And a lot of times people kind of shame us a little bit, but I don't, I don't ever feel bad when somebody questions my larger collection. But I figured this video might be a good topic to talk about because again, it is a question that gets brought up a lot. So the thread, I forget exactly what the thread was called. This was back in early September. This is how long I've been planning on doing this video. It was somebody kind of like passive aggressively like, why would people have larger collections? And I understand the mindset. And this response from Biggity Biggity Bong literally is exactly what I think. Now I actually asked their permission if I could quote them in this video. So I did reach out and say, hey, is it okay if I uh, quote you in my video? I wanted to talk to you guys, uh, talk about this. And he's like, absolutely. So I'm going to look off to the side. You guys hate it when I do that. I'm so sorry. But until I get my camera set up, I have my computer screen and you guys over here and it is a mess everywhere. So it's better to see the side of my head than to see a messy background. So I'm very sorry. So the quote goes, um, Biggity Biggity Bong says, limits are for those who need them and for those who wish to impose them upon others. Fragrance like food, music, painting, and writing can be considered art. Beauty made manifest through someone else's creative expression to be shared with and appreciated by others. We take pleasure in indulging our senses because that is part of the reason we have them. Variety is the spice of life, they say, and with good reason. Without exposure to novelty, life would be dull and sterile. We don't stop trying other foods when we find one that we really like. We don't stop listening to other music because we have found our favorite song. There isn't one perfect painting that render all previous paintings or all paintings to come utterly valueless. So why cling dogmatically to the equally bent notions that one fragrance is perfect or that our curiosity must be limited to a set number of fragrances? Pleasure and joy are there to be experienced. Tastes, moods, and fashions change after all. My unbounded curiosity is not a utilitarian quest for some fragrant holy grail. No such thing exists. Life is about experiences, and the richer and more varied the experiences, the more fully lived the life. Why bother collecting if there must be a limit? My collection is my museum, and I am its curator. Limits be damned. And I thought that was fantastic. Now, I don't think that anyone's size of their collection justifies their worth in the community again it also doesn't justify the types of fragrances you collect if you collect body mist if you collect celebrity fragrance just designer just niche again if you only have samples or decants or you buy partial bottles or you have a thousand bottles and they're all niche high end like each of them costs like 500 dollars each everyone is valid in this community so what i loved about 
this saying is the fact that for a lot of people, it's not utilitarian. And I think the people that question the validity of people and the sanity of people who have larger collections, they're purely looking at it from a utilitarian point of view. I have a signature scent. This one gets me a lot of compliments. It smells really good. It has fantastic projection. It's everything I want out of a fragrance. And they just can't wrap their head around people who like crazy variety or are curating. I mean, that's how I look at fragrances. I look at fragrances because I am an art collector. I do collect a lot of other things too. I, uh, I collect makeup brushes, I collect art, I collect, um, I'm starting to actually curate a collection of empty fragrance bottles. And that's something that I just started and I have to, I'll get way into that later on. It's something I'm actually really excited about and something I do wanna share with you guys. I collect cats at this point, I have like eight cats. But for some people, it's not a utilitarian passion, it is an artistic passion. It's the variety, it's, you know, these noses are artists. That's why I like to call it olfactive art, because it is. You know, there's culinary art, there's the music arts, there's, you know, the theater arts, and there's olfactive art. And for me, I like having a collection that has a lot of different variety even if i don't wear them all the time i feel complete because i own this type of fragrance and i love it so much now for not everyone thinks that way either as a fragrance reviewer on youtube i do have to have a larger collection because i do have to be able to review things for you guys and that is one reason why my collection has grown so large because I like to have fragrances to review for you guys and I do purchase most of them and things are given to me and I always like to let you know when that happens but when you start doing this as a like a hobby on YouTube you'd be surprised how fast your collection grows it's kind of crazy but ultimately what it comes down to it is I before I did YouTube my collection was just around 100 bottles I had a larger collection and I genuinely enjoyed collecting fragrances so for me personally like this hits the nail on the head in regards to uh, the very last sentence is my collection is my museum and I am its curators limits be damned I don't like to cuss on my channel so please forgive me but limits are what you put them on first and foremost you need to make sure that you are not spending money that you do not have so i'm not sitting here saying if you're the type of person that you want like 500 bottles go out and max out every single credit card that's not what i'm saying in regards to limits obviously be a smart consumer and member of this community but limits are what people impose some people are minimalists they can't imagine having maybe more than two three bottles to hops in their collection and they get anxiety and they just are unhappy if they have a lot of excess there is nothing wrong with that and those people are again completely valid in this community the same can go for people who have larger collections we view it and i'm going to use myself as an example here so i'm not saying everybody with a large collection thinks this way we view it as some type of like dragon sitting on treasure that's a horrible analogy i'm sorry but that's how kind of how i view it we view it as a museum we view it as adding arts into our collection we look at it and we constantly don't feel fulfilled because there's more that we can add to it to make it complete that's how i look at it i look at my collection and i say i need this to round it out i need to sell or swap these specific amber fragrances because they're too similar and I'm instead going to get this one amber fragrance because it's more artistic and maybe cheaper or more money than the ones that I got rid of. I'm not sitting here saying that I'm upgrading from like $90 fragrances to $300 fragrances, but when it comes down to how they smell, its composition, how it just, ex uh, the entire experience of the fragrance, I do look to, well, these are kind of all the same. So I'm filling holes in my collection constantly, constantly. And I've actually started really curating my collection in regards to swapping, swapping things that I love, swapping things that I wear because I want to try new things because I feel like this fragrance would be good to try and I need more of this to kind of round out this area in my collection. And also I've been swapping and selling a lot of things that I had smaller bottles of because 
I prefer to have the larger bottles in my collection for things that are more of a collecting type of fragrance. My grab and go fragrances that are just my utilitarian fragrances, they can be in any size, I think. So like I sold um, Portrait of a Lady, I actually swapped it, it was one of the fragrances I swapped for Iris Ganache. I sold uh, Lys Mediterranean because I had those in the smaller bottles and I love them and I was like, I'm you know, really gonna focus on collecting them all. I need to get a few more of those fragrances in my collection and I want them to be all the consistent large size. <laughs> so it's just a mentality about it being a museum and you curating your collection and filling holes and it's just something that you're passionate about and you get really excited about. And it doesn't mean that you need to have two or three hundred bottles in your collection. You could feel the exact same way and have three to five. But larger collections, generally people are not collecting because of utilitarian purposes. So when you ask us, why do you have that many fragrances? you're not going to wear them all that's a completely different mindset that we're in and it's not so much like well we know we're not going to be wearing all those fragrances but for us it's more of like we're collecting paintings or sculptures or having a large music collection rather than just this utilitarian beauty item that you spray on yourself so you smell good at least that's the mindset with me and then when i was reading that thread uh that quote again was the most perfect thing i'd read but there's a lot of people on the pro side of large collections and the negative side of large collections and i completely understand i think both sides are valid i think if you're coming to this community and you love this community and you have a passion for this community but you're more of the utilitarian mindset there's nothing wrong with that you're as equally valid as people who are on the other side of the spectrum just ultimately i feel like people who are like not hoarders but like hardcore collectors in regards to having larger collections and in my mind larger collections are 50 fragrances or more they do not have to be slow sized bottles they can be decants they can be sandals they're just 50 different fragrances in your rotation that's more fragrances that you would wear in a month and to me that is a large collection that doesn't mean that's what everyone considers a large collection but it's what i consider a large collection and then there's people who can't imagine having more than two and I feel that this is just a constant conversation that happens and both sides are equally confused by the other. Like I can't imagine only having one fragrance. I can't. It's not like in my brain pan. It's just like I couldn't imagine like not having problems deciding what I wanted to wear because I have so much variety. That doesn't mean that I am right and people who only have signature fragrances are wrong vice versa. So I did want to talk to you guys about this. I did want to bring this conversation up. It is a comment and a topic that I see and get all the time, all the time, and I figured this might be an interesting video. In any case, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I love it when these videos are conversations. You can tell me I'm completely wrong. You can give me reasons why. You can also tell me why you agree with me, or you can say I'm in the middle, I don't know. In any case, guys, let's keep this conversation going. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you like these types of videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free. And I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy. Have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I'll see you next time.